Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to compare two facial self tanners. So we're doing the Bali Body Face Tan Serum versus the Dolce Glow by Isabel Alyssa Gochia de Sol Hydrating Self Tanning Face Drops. So I really thought this would be a good comparison, see which one is more worth it, which one I think is more worth the money and see how they both perform. One on one side, one on the other side of my face. So before we get started on that, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, you guys. Let's go into the new year together. Join the family. Please make sure you're subscribed. But if you wanna see me compare these two, stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, we could just jump right in because I am very excited to just get tanned. So I have them both pulled up on Ulta because you could get both of them at Ulta. So I'm just going to read the details on both and then we're going to apply one on one side, one on the other side and see what kind of magic happens. So the first one that I have pulled up is Dolce Glow. It's the Gochia de Sol Hydrating Self Tanning Serum Drops oh, for face and body. It's one ounce. I know it seems like really big in this packaging, but I think it's just like the thick glass. It is one ounce. It goes for $50, so it's definitely up there in price, but I am, I just have this obsession for Dolce Glow tanning products. They're just so good. So we'll see. Um, the summary says, Gochia de Sol Hydrating Self Tanning Face I don't know why I keep saying face. Just Serum Drops by Dolce Glow is formulated to give you an ultra hydrated sun-kissed glow without harmful UV damage. With a blend of skin loving ingredients, this buildable formula boosts your favorite moisturizers, serums, oils, and lotions for your face and body. Easily integrates into your skincare routine, add it to your favorite moisturizers, lotions, and serums. Uh, perfect for face and body, buildable color for a deeper natural toned glow, plumps and rejuvenates the skin for a younger healthy glow, streak free even coverage, fast drying with no transfer, buildable color, paraben free, sulfate free, dermatologist tested, and then for the how to use, it says apply directly to the skin, which is what we're gonna do, or you could mix one to four drops with your favorite skincare product, and then wait at least four to six hours for it to um, develop. And then next up, we have Bali Body. So this is their face tan serum. This is also one ounce which is so crazy to me because this one looks so teeny tiny compared to the dolce glow but they actually have the same amount of product if you're asking me about packaging i do prefer the dolce glow because it feels heavy it feels like it's worth 50 dollars, and it just looks so beautiful but i also am a sucker for bali body packaging i just love it so you cannot go wrong either way but yeah, surprisingly, they are the same amount of product. This one goes for $14.98, which is what it says on Ulta right now. How crazy is that price difference? First of all, like 15 versus 50. This is literally like three, almost four times more expensive than Bali Body. So that is kind of mind blowing. Let's see which one is worth it more. And then the summary here says Bali Body Face Tan Serum, a gradual self tanning serum that combines active skincare with self tan. Enriched with hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and vitamins, this lightweight formula helps to nourish, brighten, and plump your complexion while leaving you with a natural looking tan. It's formulated with 100% natural DHA and a powerful blend of skincare ingredients. Bali Body Face Tan Serum promises a bronze and glowing result without irritating skin or blocking pores. And then for the how to use, it just says, for best results, apply a few drops after cleansing, wait until it's dry before putting on any other products. And then if you want a more subtle result, just like with Dolce Glow, mix it in with your other skincare products, like a moisturizer. So they sound very, very similar. I know there's probably gonna be some differences between the two, but they sound very similar. Like this one also says it's buildable if you want a deeper kind of glow. And then Bali Body does say it's a gradual self tan. So I feel like we're gonna be seeing something similar with the two. I still cannot get over the fact that 
there's the same amount of product in these like that just blows my mind one other thing that i really like about the um dolce glow that i don't see in the bali body this one has a barcode which is very innovative if you ask me so it's it says scan to learn how to apply so if you're like a beginner to self tanning this kind of like it's nice that you have something to like walk you through how to do it so i can appreciate that for my self tan beginners that's really all i have though to say as of right now we talked about packaging I think I'm gonna do Bali Body on my left and Dolce Glow on my right, and we're gonna see what happens, you guys. So we can start applying one on one side, one on the other side, and then we'll talk just like first thoughts, initial details right after. So let's get started. Okay guys, I am back. Clearly there's no color to my face because they go on clear, so I wasn't expecting immediate results, of course. But I do have some thoughts. First thing I wanna say as far as smell goes, I like the smell of the Dolce Glow one a little bit better than the Bali Body because I feel like Dolce Glow doesn't really have a smell. Bali Body has like a little bit of that like sour cream smell that some self tanners do so i'm not the biggest fan of that so i prefer dolce glow for that now that they're both like applied to my face and dried they neither of them really feel sticky like they both feel really hydrating and really good i would say they both had the same like thickness same consistency for the most part like that perfect in between of like not too thick, not too thin, like right in the middle where it's like not running, it feels good on your skin, it's like working its magic. So I really liked that about both. I don't know you guys, I will say there's some things that I'm noticing that I'm preferring um, the Dolce Glow one over the Bali Body, but we're gonna have to see what they both do tomorrow. I'm very anxious to see how they look on my face once they're developed. So I'm gonna go sleep on both of them right now and then I'll come back tomorrow and show you guys the results. Let you know which one I think is more worth it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, I'm back. It is the next day and here is what we're working with. So as you can clearly see, the um, Dolce Glow side on my right is definitely darker than the Bali Body side on my left. Um, <laughs> it's pretty apparent, I think. As the night progressed last night, I started to notice it a little bit, and especially when I woke up this morning, I was like, that is a clear difference. So it's definitely a difference in how much color you get, which honestly, I was expecting a little bit. I know with the Dolce Glow, it did say, um, like you can build it for a deeper color. And then Bali Body did say it's a gradual self tan, so, Part of me did have a feeling they weren't gonna be like right there with color but i do think both look really really amazing like i think both have like their own beauty to them i do think as far as color goes just like getting more color the bali body one is very subtle like i feel like it is like a very small change from yesterday versus with the Dolce Glow, there is a little bit more of a difference. So I feel like it matches my body self tan a little bit better. So in that aspect, I do prefer the Dolce Glow, but both are beautiful. Both are very like smooth and even and no splotchiness, no patchiness, nothing like that. Like they look really, really natural. I'm just getting more color from the Dolce Glow than I am with the Bali Body. So I guess just overall, like throughout the whole night, both felt really comfortable, didn't really notice a difference between the two. So they're very similar in how they applied, how they felt throughout the night. Smells didn't bother me. They both, well, the Bali Body one smelled worse, but that just like went away. So I didn't notice anything. And then this was the color that I woke up with this morning. So overall, 
I would say just for me personally, I see myself grabbing more for the Dolce Glow one just because of the color that I got. But again, I know the Bali Body is a gradual self tan. So I'm sure if I like built it up, I could get to this color. And for the price difference with like them being the same size too, it might make sense to just do that with the Bali Body because you're paying like what, almost 15 bucks versus 50 bucks. So I do think I see myself grabbing the Dolce Glow one more, but I do also think the Bali Body one, you just get a lot for your money at the same time. Like you can build this stuff up and get a really good tan with it. Or if you're someone that likes a more subtle tan or you like like that gradual build, Bali Body is amazing. You're gonna love it. It's a great facial self tanner. So I would say for me personally, I probably see myself using the Dolce Glow one. It is on the pricier side, but you get the color right away, so it makes it worth it. Versus Bali Body is only 15 bucks, so I definitely think it's worth getting and it just works really well. So I'm gonna say both, just depending on what you're using them for, but you cannot go wrong either way. They are both awesome. So that is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment and let me know what you guys think about how both of them look, what you would prefer. Let me know what other self tanners you guys want me to try. Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.